इनोवेट इनेबल Welcome to Incredible Journeys Brands and Leaders, a special series that puts the spotlight on some of India's most popular brands and brings you face to face with the leaders who are building them. On the show today we are exploring South India's largest integrated business city called Shree City that's located in Chittoor in Andhra Pradesh, just about 55 kilometers from Chennai. Take a look. Spread over 7,500 acres, Shree City exemplifies world-class infrastructure integrated with smart technology and backed by fast and efficient back-end services. Shree City's industrial zone comprises a multi-product special economic zone, a domestic tariff zone, and a free trade and warehousing zone. The integrated business city is home to over 185 companies from 27 countries, including multinationals like Kellogg's. Isuzu, Mondelez, Pepsi, Alsco Belco, Foxconn to name a few. And now to tell us more about this integrated business city, we are joined by the managing director of Shree City, Ravindra Sanareddy. Ravindra, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us on Incredible Journeys. First up, how did this whole idea of Shree City happen and when and how did it happen? This whole project started in 2007 when Uh, India was talking about bringing special economic zones concept to India. The act was done in 2006, and uh, this at that time I'm one of the son of the soils from this area, so this area is the most backward by all the indicators, e education, economic development, and all. So we proposed to develop this area into a special economic zone, and gave a proposal to government of India in 2007, and we were fortunate that was accepted, and state government. Helped us with the land acquisition and uh, industry requires resources like water, power, uh, of course, the land. So the state government at the time, headed by Dr. Y S Rajshekhar Idgaru, helped in facilitating all this in the form of a state MOU. Yes. And the, we did groundbreaking on 8/8/2008. The our journey started from then. And incidentally, we are celebrating 10th year this year. Um, and uh, since then, we have become one of the most successful. As I said, basically the concept is to bring international infrastructure to a backward area, so that that area gets developed and attracts a lot of foreign investment. But before you started Shree City, you were overseas. You had a flourishing career overseas. What made you want to come back to India and do this? I moved back to India in 2001 for, for personal reasons. So when I was in India, I was still had a business in US. It is an IT company. So we realized that if we are in India, as the primary residence, we should do something in India. So started looking for opportunities. That is when India was booming, and uh, there is a lot of industrial growth, and uh, infrastructure, and uh, entertainment, media. All these were the segment that were growing, because first time many industries uh, in that segment were starting. So this being my hometown, I grew up in a place. 10 kilometers from here, I studied there. So I thought we should develop this area into the thing. That is how this whole initiative was started. In a sense, started. you wanted to give back. Give back. Now, Shree City is located in Chittoor. How conducive is this location to business, and uh, how good is the connectivity of Chittoor from various, uh, uh, you know, for various modes of transport? Any industry to be successful, we need to have first connectivity. Connectivity is a multi-modal. You need to have good port connectivity so that goods can be brought in, the raw material, and goods can be exported. So, so we have the best port connectivity here. We have four ports: Chennai port, uh, Yenur port, and Kattapalli port. And nearby, uh, in Andhra Pradesh, we have uh, Krishna Patnam port. Right. And then for the investors to fly in and fly out, we need to have international airports. Chennai has international airport, not far away from here. By Bangalore is also not that far. And we have one domestic airport in Tirupati. Okay. Then for the goods movement, we need to have both rail and uh, road connectivity. Mm -hmm. We have national highway that connects uh, part of the quadrilateral triangle. Uh, the Chennai Calcutta highway goes through our, I mean, near our site, mm -hmm. and even Chennai Calcutta railway line goes near, near here. And of course, data connectivity is much easier. 
So we have one of the, this location has one of the best connectivity in the country today. Give us an overview of the kind of infrastructure that Free City has to offer because at the end of the day, if you want people to come here and live, work and play in this city, uh, there is a lot of infrastructure requirement. So yes. at what stage are you right now, 10 years into the existence? First, we focused first 10 years on the industrial infrastructure. That means these industries should have good road connectivity, both internal and external. Mm -hmm. Second, they should have enough water and they should have enough power and also indirectly you know what which is easier much is this thing the data connectivity for all these things right. the so what we call in general utilities for all these industries then we uh, we, we have done excellent job on that that is why a lot of investment has come uh, we attracted almost 30000 crores of investment so far and now the in the initial stages when the people come they said give us good infrastructure we'll put a factory then they start asking questions like, where do my employees live? Now we have to build houses. Then they ask the questions, where do my, my, our employees' children go? Yes, so then we have to build schools. Yeah. Then they ask about where do our parents go, or rather for healthcare. So we need to have hospitals. Then where do our spouses go for recreation? So shopping centers, multiplexes. That is what all this gambit we call the housing to infrastructure relating to healthcare, schools, and uh, you know, all educational requirements the broadly social infrastructure. I think that is the phase we are in now. We are already having one good school here, Chenmaya School, and two universities, the IIIT, Indian Institute of Information Technology, another good university, Kriya University, which is going to be one of the best universities in India, is also located here in Sri City today. And we already have healthcare in the form of SIMS Hospital, SRM Hospital, and uh, uh, care uh, Shankar Netralaya. But that is, uh, you know, evolving, you know, that is uh, uh, continuous work. As we provide more and more uh, employment here, more and more families start living here. Right. And we need to provide support services for the families. So till now, what sort of investments have been made into Sri City in terms of uh, money? And which are the major investors? There are a lot of countries from ab abroad that have been investing here. Give us a little overview of that. The dominant country that has invested here so far is uh, Japan. We have close to 25 industries from Japan, followed by US and then Europe. And in terms of segments, uh, electronics, uh, engineering, especially automotive, and FMCG sector, right. and food processing will be dominant industries. So what kind of government support have you had over the last decade and governments have changed in Andhra in this time? And what's your wish list for the next government? We have partnership both with the state government as well as with the central government. The SAZ Act is a central government act. So we continue to have good support from both state and central governments, especially the recent government, or the, uh, the NDA government has come up with this Make in India policy, yeah. which drives a lot of investments from uh, overseas to India to increase the uh, the productivity of rather factories here. So the first decade is done. For the next decade, what's your biggest challenge at this point in time? Challenges are to kind of keep the people who are coming, the industry coming, the, the investors happy, and now to provide uh, the enough facilities for their staff to live here. Right. The social infrastructure we talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, so that means we have to attract more and more schools, colleges, hospitals, shopping centers, and we have to provide proper housing for them. So that this has to be one of the best places to live. Uh, you know, India is talking of developing smart cities. So at Sri City, what is the roadmap that you have for becoming a smart city? Are you leveraging new age technologies like the Internet of Things or artificial intelligence or you know connected workplaces? Uh, do you have a roadmap ahead for that? The Honorable uh, Urban Minister at that time, Mr. Venkai Naidu, uh, came here uh, almost about uh, six years back mm -hmm. and launched in IIIT a smart city uh, research center in the ambit of uh, the IIIT. Uh, the, so those. The, we are encouraging one research on one hand and then trying to implement those new technologies and all wherever right. possible in our city while making it. And uh, it is not only technology, smart city also requires a lot of, you know, the, the infrastructure also has to be smart in, right. in general. That is, you should have uh, good infrastructure in terms of roads, water, power. So that is what we have taken care of in almost decade back in master plan itself. Yeah. First of all, we start use, start from the water. Water we recycle or, or harvest the uh, rainwater and use. So we don't have any groundwater usage in Sri City by industry anywhere. 
Similarly, uh, the technology, we encourage the uh, industries to be uh, using wherever possible th 3R model, that is reuse, recycle and um, reduce the 3, 3R model to, so that there is not much waste generated in these industries as well. We have the best infrastructure, best connectivity and also the trained workforce. These are the three main ingredients that industry looks in the beginning. So it is a, one of the good ecosystems where you have not only industrial infrastructure, also soft infrastructure to help industry to thrive. We wish you all the very best for that and uh, may all your vision for Sri City come true. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today, Mr. Sanareddy. Well, with that, let's take a short break right now. On the other side, we'll be back with another inspiring story of an incredible brand. Thanks for joining us.